Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on to another DOY Creation 7 video. Okay guys, so as you can tell from the title, we are just going to have a, hopefully not a too long chit chat about my experience of being a YouTuber. So I got my coffee already ready and go ahead and get your coffee or your drink or snack just so we can have a conversation about my experience of being a YouTuber and even more so a small YouTuber. But before we get started, you guys know I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. So I thought it was needed for me to share my experience of being a YouTuber. And how do I get started? Hold up. How do I get started? Start with a sip of coffee. Um, before we go there, let me show you guys. You remember the dress I'm making using the thread yarn? Guys, I had to upsize the crochet hook because I started this dress using a G hook, which is a 4.25. This is going to take too long for this process. So I changed the hook size to a letter, a letter J. So it's making this come along a little bit quicker. Okay. So I had to change the size because I'm not trying to be a year getting through with one dress using thread yarn. So a quick peek at my whip, the crochet dress. I got all my other thread yarns to try to finish up this project as quickly as possible. So that is on my crochet hook. Wanted to show that to you guys. And in yesterday's video, I think that was yesterday's video or a day before yesterday video, I had a video up um, while I was in Walmart. And I meant to say, the only issue you're going to have is making a handle. A lot of you guys probably probably already knew what I was saying, but I didn't edit that video. I just loaded it, so I wasn't able to at least put it on the screen um, saying that I meant to say the only issue you're going to have with the fat bottom bag is you can either order your, you can order your uh, purse handle online or you can even crochet your own handle for that bag. But I kept saying hook for some reason. Okay, my bad. So I just wanted to clear that up and actually show you guys I'm still working. But I got some fun things that I'm, I'm excited to share with you guys that I've been watching a couple of other people uh, videos. And I've been so inspired for some new things that they were sharing that I'll be coming back to you guys to share with you guys, but that will be on another video. Okay, back to the subject at hand. I wrote a couple of notes here because I wanted to just tell you guys my experience from being a small YouTuber or just being a YouTuber all together. And one thing that I have learned and again, this is my experience. One thing I have learned by being a YouTuber, never say never. And so what do I mean by that? What do I mean when I say never say never? Um, I have watched some folks videos where they had maybe shared like ads. So you ever watch somebody video and you see they may have maybe four ads or four commercials have you guys want to say it but we call them ads have you ever watched somebody video and they have like three or four ads on that one video and you might say omg all these ads just do the video i would never have all those ads on my video never say never one thing people need to understand is it's not youtube that pays you it's AdSense that pays you. It's those ads that pays you. Google Ads pays you um, when you're doing your videos and you see those ads. That's why 
we appreciate you guys if you watch the ads because that is what's paying you. Google AdSense. So when you see in those ads and folks got more than one ad, two ad, three ads, I have saw somebody video that had like four and five ads. Now, I don't know uh, what determines uh, how many ads that you can put on your videos, but why the ads are still available. YouTubers are taking advantage of those ads. Why? Because you get paid for from the ads. Okay, so just a FYI, it's not your um, YouTube. YouTube is the platform, but it's Google AdSense that pays you for those videos. So at first I was like, uh, OMG, I would never have all those ads. But child, let me just keep it real and let me just keep it 100 with you guys. You might be seeing more ads on my videos because that's what pays your content. We put a, a lot of work. You have a lot of people that put a lot of work into their video, right? You know, uh, especially the people who do us all the editing, your little um, iCard, your little emojis, or whatever you're doing to produce the best video. You might be going out there getting uh, equipment so you can have great lighting. You may be getting speakers so people can hear you clearly, see you clearly. Whatever the situation may be, you want to be reimbursed for that investment. So you're investing in your channel and you just want to, you know, harvest your investment. So of the one of the tools that you can use is ads when you put in ads in your video. So when I said that I was not going to be doing more ads, do not get irritated, guys, if you see more than one ads on my uh, future videos just know this is the reason why it's just AdSense is what pays you Google is what pay Google AdSense is what pays you YouTube is just the platform okay just a FYI but that has been my experience when you want to be so judgmental when you seeing not so much judgmental or maybe you just commenting that Folks got all these ads on their videos, and you don't know why. That is why. Uh, another thing is never say never that, you know, if your channel is about, like my channel is a, mainly about crochet, weight loss. Um, just say my, my channel is mainly about crochet and weight loss. So you be like um, the folks that does hauls. You be like, oh, I would never do a haul because why would I promote uh, stores and I'm not, you know, I'm not weeping any of that benefit, right? So you might just say that I'm not going to be showing people what I purchase, per free promotion from other company. I get it. I have seen people on YouTube that may made that statement that they would never do a haul because that's promoting other companies. And then maybe a year later, I'm saying, and their title, and probably not even a year later, but eventually they title saying, uh, you know, Hall, Ross Hall, TJ Maxx Hall, uh, Tuesday Morning Halls. And I'm like, um, is they, did they sponsor this video? Unless they sponsor the video, why are you doing a haul? Why? Because it's fun. It's fun to share. It's fun to share what you purchase. You know what I mean? It's just really fun. So, yes, all of us would love for uh, when you're doing a, me doing a yarn haul or something like that, if Red Heart would reach out to me and sponsor me or uh, whatever brand of yarn that I use would reach out and sponsor the video and give me some yarn, you know, hint, hint, go ahead, Red Heart or whoever out there, Lion Brand, whoever. You want to share your haul. It makes you happy, okay? Hauls makes people happy. So if I say, which I never said, but I did see someone make that statement that they would never do a haul based on that person is not sponsoring them to do that haul, is now doing hauls. So never, I would never say I'm not going to do a haul because what you won't do is what you will do. So, 
You know what I'm saying? So for me, I'm only speaking for me. I don't want to say I would never do hauls because I enjoy doing hauls. I love the bags rattling. I love to see you guys hauls. Yes, I do. I can't wait to see what yarn you have, what vase you bought, what mirror you got, what clothing you bought. I love hauls. So be careful if you say my channel is just about this and you verbally say on your channel what you will not do and then somebody sees that that title of you doing a haul and then they bring it back to your remembrance and then you get kind of sensitive about the situation that you have a right to change your mind and that's absolutely correct we do have a right to change our minds but i'm just saying for me um i would never say that because i enjoy you know doing hauls and just like um Another thing, mukbang. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just can fix a dish so great. It looks so delicious. You can't share that dish to yourself. You like, somebody needs to see what I have created. Somebody needs to see this meal I have created. And next thing you know, you're doing a mukbang. But you'll be saying, I am not going to sit there and watch someone eat. But you be like, man, I understand now why you're doing this mukbang because this food is fat. What I just made, what I just bought, whatever the situation may be, you want to share that good-looking, delicious food that you made a purchase or made yourself. So, mukbangs is not really on my channel, but I have showed you guys a few of my dishes that... I have created and it was exciting you know it was really exciting to share that and then when you get the feedback on people saying it looked really delicious and it really really um whatever you be like man you know you might want to do another one and another one because you're going to always gravitate to the most watched video you know what I mean so if Bookbang did your videos real good. You're going to gravitate more to that, right? Then if you did this video, that really didn't get any hits. So you're going to always pay attention to the videos that people watch the most. You know, that they watch crocheting. Watch is my most watched video, right? But I have a Dr. Savy video where I'm doing his product review. And that video got over 41,000 people has watched. So if I trigger back off of Dr. Savy's videos, but I'm a crocheter, so I love to crochet. But I will give you guys tips on how ginger works good for the body. Tumorex, I'll do a video on tumorex. Anything that help you live the best healthy life you possibly can. I cannot keep that information to myself. I have to share the knowledge. I have to share uh you know, what the Most High has blessed us with, has given us these dis different herbs I have to share. But those videos may not got as many views as a review I've done. But I'm just saying, keep it all in, you know, keep it all in perspective, you know. So what you said you would not do with your channel, just know those be the very things that you will do. Another thing, you ever see somebody that posts a video every single day they got a post every day and you say wow i don't even know how they can do that they post in videos every single day i would never do a video every day be careful because you'll find yourself doing uh march blogs or february blogs or however they be uh labeling them or capsizing them you know real catchy with the name like uh you know, April vlog, vlogs, or a vlog, or whatever, how they may, you know, uh, you know, set it up, but it'll be a daily vlog, you know what I mean, we do things daily, and you ain't got to turn your camera on all day, every day, but some folks love to capture every day something that went on in their day, and they share with us, so I have not done a consistent uh, daily vlog, but I want to challenge myself. I really want to challenge myself of doing a vlog every day. Like, what's going on with me every day? That is the most challenging thing 
that I have experienced so far. Because I can do one this day and that day or that day skip a day because it's, you know, it's, it's challenging for me to turn on the camera every single day. It's not so much I'm busy. I just want to make sure that I'm bringing you guys something worth even looking at. So that be my whole challenge. But once I do the challenge of doing a daily vlog, it's going to be whatever's going on in my day that I thought it was suitable enough to share with you guys. So don't say that, you know, why are these folks doing daily vlogs or something like that. I can't say that. You can say it. I can't say it because that's something that I really anticipating on doing in the near future so it's like really really but I am so daily vlogs another thing is reviews now you, I see a lot of people um, I see a lot of people do like um, hair review uh, makeup review uh, whatever kind of review there is, I'm very selective of uh, what kind of reviews I will do. Uh, I'm not into makeup. I hope I never get into makeup. I really don't want that to be a part of my channel. It's saying, get ready with me, put on makeup. You guys are the experts out there. I don't even want to be the expert. I can actually put that out in the universe. I don't even want to be the expert of doing makeup. I'm a very simple girl. I like simple makeup. I like to, you know, to do it in my own style. I'm real old school. You guys with the crease and the, with the cheeks and the, all that, I'm not, I can't. I, I can't, but at the same time, if makeup is something that you really enjoy to do, you really, you know, that's your forte that's what you enjoy to do but that's not what initially your channel is about you might be headed that direction so we can't say about review i have had companies to reach out to me to do a review on some clothing because i was doing my crochet outfit the other day which i really have to get back into really doing my crochet outfits of the day um but they they reached out to me to um, do some clothing and I got lost in the transition. I was trying to promote my wear so much that I kind of let that opportunity, like, you know, I kind of parked that opportunity. I'll pick it back up and see if they're still interested in me, um, reviewing some of their clothes. But at the same time, guys, those are opportunities when somebody reaching out to you asking you to review their item if it's something that is within your guidelines you know take advantage of it it's certain things because of my background and my beliefs it's certain things i can do it's certain things i absolutely will not and cannot do i just can't you know what i'm saying i i can't do it because of my beliefs but i'm saying with reviews you may say that that's not something you're interested in and then a company reach out to you and next thing you know, you're doing reviews. So, you got to be careful with that as well. So, you know, keep that in mind as well. My experience also on YouTube, it doesn't really matter per se um, how many subscribers that you have. Um, you can have, I see people who have 50,000 subscribers. And I look at their view time, and it maybe got 5,000 views, 7,000 views. So don't get hung up on subscribers. Subscribers are great. I appreciate everyone who clicked the subscribe button. I said something, showed something, did something that made you want to click on that subscribe button. Absolutely, click on that subscribe button. But never did get discouraged based on how many views you get based on your subscribers it's a numbers game i see some people who may have 200 subscribers but their view will be 500 views each video i'm like somebody is really interested in what you're doing but they're not actually hitting the subscribe button 
but it's the views that count. You know, we get paid per views, not per subscribers. It's great to have subscribers. Uh, please, guys, if you're not already subscribed, please take a moment out and click on the subscribe button. Absolutely. Thumbs up the video. Absolutely. All that is necessary when you being a YouTuber. You can never have enough subscribers. You can hit the 1 million mark and somebody will still say make sure you subscribe so the subscriber because it's a numbers game so continue to do what you you know what you do because initially when i was first starting i've been on youtube for what like 14 months going on 15 months and in that time i was like oh i'm getting a lot of subscribers yay but then my views was like oh the views is not equaling the subscribers i can't worry about that all I can do is keep putting the best content I possibly can out to everyone. And who's going to watch, who's going to watch. Who's not going to watch, is not going to watch. It's absolutely nothing. You have no control of that. However, what I learned is you have to be uh, active on other channels. You have to be active with your subscribers. If they post in videos, be on their page. I watch, um, what's my sister name here on YouTube? She does the eating, the ASM, ASMR, something like that. Not necessarily I'm going to sit there and watch you eat for 30 or 40 minutes, but my tube is on. I got your time going. I may be washing dishes. I may be cleaning up, but your videos is running. I'm giving you that watch time. You understand what I'm saying? I may give you the most first five or ten minutes, but I'm going to watch your video. I'm going to have your video on because I'm supporting you. And then I'm going to thumbs it up, and then I'm going I'm to leave you a comment. So you're going to get your watch time for me, whether I'm watching a whole hour of you eating or not. No, I cannot sit there and wait uh what a whole hour of watching somebody eat. I cannot. My, my day is not set up that way. But what my day is set up as, if I know I'm getting ready to watch um, my subscriber who does eating thing, I turn that camera, I turn that uh, video on, see what they eat and everything, and then I'm washing dishes, I'm cleaning up, but I'm giving you that watch time. That's what's most important. No, you may not be a crafter. You may not be a crocheter, but you're a supporter of DOY creation. So you're going to turn on the video, whatever you're doing, but I'm getting that watch time. That's how I support. I'm supporting by watching your videos. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm watching it. I'm listening to it. I don't have to be looking at you, but I'm listening to whatever conversation that you're saying or whatever like that. I'm listening to it. So when I comment, I'm commenting appropriately. You know what I mean? You could have been saying something really radical. And so I don't want to be saying good job when you just said something was really like, I don't know, suspect. I don't know. So I'm listening, but I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, you ate another bite, bite off that burger. Oh, I hope that's a veggie burger. Oh, you just ate another, drank another sip of that pop. No, but I'm listening. I'm, I'm watching. I'm listening to what you're doing. So making sure that you're supporting the other channels, turning on their videos and watching those videos giving those videos a thumbs up. I give a thumbs up as soon as I start. This is one of my subscribers. This person watches my videos, always commenting. You're going to get a thumbs up before you even get started. Let, let's go ahead and see what you're talking about. So when I comment, I know exactly what I'm commenting about because I'm listening, not all the time, watching 30 minutes, an hour of actual eating. So, you know, supporting. I'm all about the supporting. You know what I mean? So, don't really say what you will and will not do on your platform. I'm talking about me and me only because what I have learned once AdSense, Google, send you, I thought I was going to bring you that paper. Once they send you that paper and they tell you that you have enough views that you can start adding, um, you can start adding ads to your videos. Once YouTube pays you whether they send you a check or a direct deposit you look at your platform totally different once you get a paycheck you be like okay what did i do to get that paycheck so let me keep that let me keep that running 
And then if you make a little extra money, you be like, okay, I bumped that up. So let me do, let me invest a little bit more, you know? And so you be like, oh, everybody telling you what they making on YouTube. And next thing you know, your channel is how much I got paid on YouTube. How do, how, how do we get to that conversation? You get to that conversation because you said you wasn't going to do just that. So be careful. I'm speaking to me. I'm looking at me. I'm speaking to me. Yes, Google and send me that paper and be like, what? I'm doing what? I got enough to do what? Do what ads? So y'all be seeing those ads? Honey, we need those ads. It's those ads that, you know, to, um, that's what pays you. That's real talk. I hope this video, I think that's it. I made a list of questions or different things. I didn't cover everything because it's not, you know, you going, it's a trial and error. You know, it's like your personality really comes out on screen. You know, if you saw any of my beginning videos, I was really uh, camera shy, very nervous. No one is sitting here but me and the camera. But sometimes I get lost for words. I get very nervous because you got a lot of people that's looking at you, looking at your content. Then you have family. Then you have friends. And then you have strangers or whatever looking at you. So it kind of like make you nervous in the beginning. But as you get a little bit more confidence in being in front of the camera, confidence in what you are um, displaying, it gets a whole lot easier. It really, really does. I was a nervous wreck. And I always have my sister, I'd be like, how did I do? she say, the nervousness came through the camera. Calm down. Just, you know, do what you do. I do the next video. How did I do? I'll ask my husband, how did I do? he said say, he's going to always be my, uh, my, my husband and my sister. They always my biggest fan. So they always going to give me the thumbs up and they going to always encourage me and inspire me to keep on doing what I do. So if that's something that you enjoy doing, do what you do, keep your channel growing. If you're not seeing your numbers looking the way that you would like it to be, make sure that you're interacting with your subscribers. Make sure you're watching those videos, commenting, thumbs them up, watching those ads, whatever it takes to make them come back and say, well, let me see what you're talking about. I got certain people that I watch that it's not exactly what I do. You know what I'm saying? Especially like if you're, um, whatever that thing may be. I got your video on. Yep. I'm leaving a comment. Yep. Sounds good to me. This is how it goes, guys. This is how it works. So anyway, guys, that is all. I know my coffee is getting cold over here. Mm. It's still warm and it's still delicious. Look, guys, fold your house. <laughs> okay, they didn't pay me to say that. But anyway, guys. I got some new stuff that we're coming to you guys really, really soon. I got the tutorial that's coming to you guys really, really soon. So please make sure you be looking out for that tutorial and anything else that I have in the makes. Okay. All right, guys. I hope this video has been very helpful. If it has been helpful, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave it in the comment if you enjoyed this video and how has your experience been as being a YouTuber, whether you be a small YouTuber or if you a bigger, a big time YouTuber, let me know that information in um, the description bar below or box below. That would be so, so awesome. I would like to welcome all of my subscribers back, all of my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys so, so very much for taking the time out to click onto this video and watch and support DOY Creations because I got big things and new things happening for me that I would definitely like to share with you guys. All right, guys, that is it. That is all. And until next video, please make sure you always remember Yah Psalm 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll be checking you guys in the next video really, really soon. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this long video. All right. Bye for now.